Submit yourselves therefore to God. The Word of God. Submit yourself to God. Give in to God. Submit yourself to God. Now you can't just go out and resist the devil. Number one, you've got to, you've got to humble yourself. You've got to submit yourself to God. To submit yourself to God is to say, I'll do your will, God. I want to do your will. Not my will, but thine be done. Oh, Lord, I, I just I submit myself to the Word of God. The Word of God says this. I'm going to obey the Word of God. I submit. I bow my knee to God. Jesus, you are my Lord. The Word is your Word. I submit myself to God. Forgive me. I, I write myself into your, into, into your will. I make everything right. I submit to you. I forgive. I, I'm sorry for what I've done. I clean up my life. I, I bow before you. I submit to you, O oh God. I tell you, when you get on your knees and do that, and you look up, the devil's trembling. He's trembling. Because he doesn't have anything in you. And then it says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. And flee means to run in terror. Some people say, well, I resisted him and he didn't go. He's still around. Well, either you or God, one's lying. And God can't lie. So guess who's a liar? I tell this story. I like to tell it again. You know, I use a certain kind of cologne Dodie likes. And you know, when he used the telephone, kind of rubs off on, on that phone. So I'd gone down here to the church when we lived out in, in Humble, uh, Kingwood out there. And uh, so Dodie, middle of the morning, went to use the telephone in the bedroom. And she picked up the phone. And she smelled me. Hmm, she said, John's been here. See, I wasn't there. She just smelled where I'd been. Just because when you rebuke the devil and say, devil, in the name of Jesus, you foul demons, go in Jesus' name. He goes. They go. Now, just because you smell them doesn't mean they're still there. <laughs> Old Stinko has been here. But El Stinko's gone. I just still smell where he was. Because when I use the name of Jesus, he had to go. So don't worry about the smell. Don't worry about the symptoms. Don't worry about all things that hang on. That's just where he used to have been. And now he's gone. And you have put him on the run by the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now here's, here's the attitude we ought to have. Be sober. Be vigilant. Why? Because you have an enemy. The devil. He's walking about as a roaring lion. Seeking whom he may devour. Whom resists steadfast in the faith. He didn't just say it one time. I command you to go devil. Now he'll come back. But you've got to resist him steadfast. And say no devil I'm not giving in. You've got to show the devil you're more determined than he is. 